Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our Choose to Lose campaign where we're trying to build niche, build a niche item, kind of, uh, yeah, more underutilized uh, equipment and trying to beat the game on legendary iron dif uh, difficulty with less hit points, improved enemies via the ABA and a better chosen mod and finally we got a couple of restrictions regarding classes and items that we're allowed to take operation tomb prince is the second installment of the retaliation missions and this time we're going to bring our a team with us frodo quickfeed wurtz sandman and reckoner i would also want to do normally i wouldn't do that because it is a waste of resources but in the spirit of the run i want to kind of refill that nanoscale vest that we lost in our in our last attempt and oh we also lost the shotgun interesting oh that is that is spicy we lost the shotgun and the traditional sword. Cool. First time for everything. We got an outloader or a scope for the shotgun. I think we're going to go with a scope. Yeah, why not? Okay, cool. Well, that just makes the whole thing a bit more interesting. We got Predator Armor in development, so I hope that we're eventually going to get some more utility items. But yeah, first of all, armor upgrade. I think weapon upgrade is due, and then we should uh, do a couple of autopsies. Good. As always, we are landing in the middle of a war zone. Luckily, two of our operatives will be starting uh, concealed so what exactly is that is that a chrysalid chrysalid crawler okay well that 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 is new Mini chrysalids. Hilarious. On the other hand, by thinking about it, maybe it's not that hilarious. Maybe it is actually a problem if they do uh, the same stuff that their older more seasoned counterparts would be doing and if that's the case uh we have a problem i think none of the chrysalids have borrowed yet so we can freely move in good so aggressive moving forward. Oh, interesting. We're fighting against her yet again. Better be careful. No, we're fighting against the hunter. Cool. Immune to explosions, gains health uh, when others take damage. Um and hates reapers, apparently. It's dangerous out here. Well, the elders must have caught wind of our operation. They sent in one of the chosen. Ah, too bad. I was hoping I outsmarted myself. I was hoping we would not get a chosen. Okay, we would have theoretically have a teamwork order left open.
Those three clowns over there almost beg to be hit by a claymore. And I think everybody else can move up for now. I want to be careful not to trigger them yet. The Claymore could actually kill them right away. So yeah, Claymore would almost fully wipe the squad here. Perfect. I think Adler's been letting some of the rejects slip through production lately. Okay. Moving up. Moving out. We're safe. Now get out of here. Time to deal with the purifier first. And I think we need we we do not need two concealed units. Alright, moving up. Moving up and we're in a solid position. That guy might trigger some of our overwood shots, and so far we have already eliminated two pots, so... We're doing fine. I see you. The tracking shot mark is different. Um, it'll, to my understanding, we, uh, it will, yeah, it will still shoot, but it also reduces the willpower, as you can see. So there is an inherent motivation to deal the, uh, to kill the chosen rather soon. In the meantime, let's deal with these horrible beings. Reloading. Adjusting sight. Heading out. Moving up. Let's hit this guy. Another ninety percent shot misses. Now I don't want to lose concealment. Not yet. So we're going with teamwork. Fantastic. That worked like a charm. Another overwatch. Picking that stuff up. PCS agility is good. Uh, Intel, advanced, expanded magazine and hair trigger. Not sure why exactly we get four, but that is rich loot. Very rich loot. Hair trigger is good. The advanced, expanded magazine is fantastic. I have it with me now. Okay, won't deal with him yet. I need to reload. There we go. The legendary Unfortunately, we won't be able to remove his cover fully. Alive 
We will reduce. We will be able to reduce it to half cover. That's the Elder's Hunter. From what we've heard, he's a relentless tracker with an unnatural ability to call his shots. From what I have heard, uh, the guy is a crook. This here will at least shred him and remove some of the cover. It's not great, I get it, because we just don't have the upgraded cover removal yet. There is a very small chance that this grenade is actually going to destroy the entire tree. Nope. Nope, didn't work out. Maybe not the worst idea. Can't grapple up. Oh, that is unfortunate. I wish we could grapple up. If he grapples up here, we're going to be flanked and I can't let that happen. I will reposition. Let's see how, how much damage we can deal. Now nah, that's potentially not enough. Not revealed. Fantastic. Double or nothing. Not sure why we can now start to grapple up there, but I guess I'll take it. That was the original intention. To get behind him and start dishing out that nice, nice damage. Unfortunately, not yet run and gun. Orders confirmed. On the move. Okay, well, that's a fair shot. It's going to take more than a few wounds to slow me down, Commander. Could move over here. And then uh, prime him uh, for a kill. So that, that's going to deal two points of damage due to the stock. So it's not bad. Not fantastic either. Oh, he gets some help, okay. <laughs> One more shot. Well, at least he did not go for for us, so that's fine. Reloading and time to eliminate him. Fantastic! Not bad. I like it. Plus, we also got a flanking shot out of it. Alright, justice pull to get him out of uh, that nasty position there. Worked like a charm. That's how you pull yourself some extra loot. Conditioning is exactly what I wanted, and then 
some extra laser po uh, laser sight, which is good as well. We could wrath ourselves in. That wouldn't be a smart idea, though. Roto there now. moves up, Back quick in. feed reloads, Come get some. and let's just start hitting, uh, hitting it. Well, that is unfortunate. Everybody else goes on to Overwatch. That's a nice little hit. That is another good hit. Imagine if we would have hit that 90% shot. Not good. Okay, whom are we feeding the kills uh, to? I think Frodo, because we want to get to Captain Rank as soon as possible. Turning a miss into a kill. And that was a clear mission overall. You know, I mean, compared to the 112 enemies that we killed in the last mission, that one felt relatively easy. Good, do we get a promotion? Do we get a promotion? Ooh, we get two promotions. Fantastic. Alright, we're free to get those extra abilities. Remember, that was not a problem. I would definitely go shrapnel, like remote start and uh, start into shrapnel. So I'm forced to take target definition. But Shredder is good. Shredder is not only good, Shredder is actually great. So that's a really nice extra ability. Heavy Ordinance would be the absolute standard getting that extra uh, damage so we're going with holo targeting got a bit of suppression on holo targeting she will become more and more of a gunner than a grenadier 12 civilians rescued hair trigger oh my gosh we got so many nice little items and 40 supplies on top of it so in terms of supplies we're doing very well let's take a look PCS's got conditioning and dodge I like the dodge I actually like it a lot so quick feet has dodge already let's give some dodge to her and Frodo takes the PCS conditioning that we we're making up for the lack of hit points in the progression. We're lucky so far that the Prime team has gotten such nice items. So that's good. Plated armor, 25 days. Could use another scientist, to be honest. There are additional supplies, which we're ignoring. And we're going to slow them down. We'll Advent is back. stepping up their sw uh, sweeps, doesn't like uh, sneaking any time. Okay, we're not going to be concealed. That sucks. Long live the resistance. But now we got rapid collection, which gives us some more momentum bonus. Next time I won't go easy on you. Let's go to the black market. And in terms of overall supplies, we're fine. We're not that great. I could use that intel, uh, that engineer here, so some more intel would be fantastic. And in terms of selling stuff, Larim Core for 32. Potentially still not going to do it pains me to be able to sell faces corpses because mimic beacons are so good but then again they are banned 
Yeah, I'm eight is not really worth it. We don't need money that badly at the moment. There's a soldier down here, one that spawned last uh, last month. So potentially another squaddy. Not sure if I like that. How long does it take us? Get the resistance communications a bit longer. Do we maybe want to invest 90 into, into an engineer? Let's think about it. Avenger plotting new course. We're going to gain some intel from the Reapers. And I'm torn between expanding here and opening that route. And essentially going for that extra engineer. Our friends in the resistance are paying a heavy price with the chosen running loose. We should do what we can to take them down before they hit again. If we can manage to uh, get to the black market prior to the end of the month and check in that guy for 90, then we're going to do it. Okay, so purchase. Let's get the engineer. Lots of intel spent on Priority message coming through, on those uh, extra resources. Against the aliens over the past month has been significant, Commander, but there is still room to improve. Good. If we are going the assassin trains. That means she will get additional skills, and the hunter is trying to crack our resistance down. Alloy padding would suck. Bleeding rent would suck as well. Both of them are really bad, guys. So let's hope they're not happening. Remove a block uh, of Avatar at the beginning of every turn. Mwah. So good. We're going to stay with that for now. All mission timers increased by two is good as well. And we got rapid collection, so 300 for free. There is a scientist for 95 available and advanced expanded magazine. No, we don't want to uh, sell either of that. We're low, very low on Intel. So what we could do is we could actually scan for intel so that we can make contact it's okay uh, the game will give us intel seeing that we are so low on it but it won't potentially give us 80 intel so this here is to fill up the remainder hats has just finished their training and became a specialist. I think Everything we have no we've more rookies now, right? Oh, we still got a rookie. Commander. And we wanted Our to make that rookie a grenadier, first. if my memory that, serves me well. Good. So far, so good. I think our roster is actually fine. What we're, what we're missing is a bit of experience overall they are still quite low but yeah then again we're still in the early game plated armor is not even through and there's an ambush we still got time in in this episode because it was so fast might as well do the ambush and continue playing Okay, so OBS has a seldom or a bug uh, if you're continuing to start and stop recording at some point the uh, software eventually just begins to shit itself and no longer works. So that is what happened, unfortunately, because it was actually a quite interesting mission that, uh, that we've just ran through. Uh, as a recap, uh, we killed all of uh, the inhabitants short of one and even got a nice PCS out of uh, the mission. So well, that's a promotion just from the mission itself. And look at that, superior PCS. 
That's fantastic. The order loader and the hair trigger are just the icing on the cake. But that was really, really good. Too bad I couldn't capture it. And we got a promotion for Jessica Jones just on top. Breakthrough research. All assault rifles deal one point of damage and plus one health. Okay, sign me up. Where do I need to subscribe? I think we're going to do that with Frodo here. Extra health is helpful, very helpful. And yeah, we might want to put another sharpshooter, Sane for instance, in here in the hopes of giving them a level up. Uh, yeah, that extra health is good, but the improved assault rifles is even better. So, well, that's good. I like it. I like the rewards that we're getting so far. That new, um, that new engineer would go in here. Is that really worthwhile? Potentially, yes. Uh, the covert ops rewards are really good, and having them be produced faster is not a bad idea. As for Jessica, took a big risk I would tendentially always use quick draw. Uh, that is superior to death from above. I can see though that death from above fits into the build more or less. She's missing long watch, but yeah, dead eye and death from above uh, can can make for a decent build. In terms of superior speed. That is something which we could give to our scout over here. I mean, it would be the perfect item for a Templar, but Templars are banned Let's run. So might as well give it to Sandman, who will be a better off uh, scouting with that. Our one scientist that we put onto the covert ops mission expanded the plated armor to 23 days that is unfortunate but we can't really change it good what else do we need i think training center at this point is the right move commander we've pushed our current power systems to the limit we don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. Uh, we don't want to speed up the building process. What we really want to do is speed up clearing this debris. Okay. By the way, before I forget it again, I wanted to upgrade digital network. So... Maybe we're upgrading the power conduit and then digital network. That's not bad. Costs us 180. Good, because that's another uh, resistance order. And we have quite a few that are okay. So far, we're doing fine. Base building works in our favor. Yeah, we're behind on Intel and on quite a few other resources as, as well. There is another facility, which we would want to get sooner than later. So I really like the idea of making contact and then essentially getting down here into Chile. Uh, Chile, we got enough context, but we are lacking the Intel. So we need that Intel mission. And maybe we're getting some here. That one sucks. Uh, we want to potentially uh, remove that. Getting that extra scientist would be helpful. Uh, bleeding reed. It's nasty. But it is not that bad. We could live with it. I 
going by the rewards, the scientist is uh, the best one. We don't need another ranger, not yet. So I'll potentially go with the scientist and try to uh, try to force our way through that hidden event. Not the best, uh, not the worst idea. 17 more days until plated armor, so we should be fine. And in here, Frodo will get that extra hit point. Jessica has already gotten uh, quite a bit, and I think we got some aim for... No, we got the promotion. The aim would have been for wards, which we did not take. But yeah, the prime team looks good. I would say the second team, not so much. We still got to level all of those corporals up as time permits. Anyways, that brings us to... Oh, wait a second. One thing. Yeah, we're in, we don't have a captain yet. Okay, that brings us to the end of uh, today's episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy the content, feel free to leave a like and a comment down below. That helps the channel grow. And see you in the next episode, guys. Bye-bye.